War Gaming's Who Would Win? <laughs> Mini Wargamer Dave here from MiniWargaming.com. Welcome, Wargamers, to another Who Would Win Mini Bat Rep. Today's matchup is an Imperial Knight versus a Scythe Hero Duel. Thank you to Matt Vignow, who left a comment on Facebook suggesting this matchup. And as per popular demand, we are doing it. It's because of you guys. You guys thumbed up and liked his comment, and that's why we're doing it. Going over the stats of the Knight Paladin, 375 points. Weapon skill 4, Ballista skill 4. He's strength 10, front armor 13, side and rear 12, initiative 4, 3 attacks, and 6 hull points. He is a super heavy walker, and he's got two heavy stubbers. This is the uh, Knight Paladin that I'm fielding. Rapid fire battle cannon, a Reaper chainsword, and an ion shield. Heavy stubber is strength 4, AP 6, heavy 3. The rapid fire battle cannon is a battle cannon that I shoot twice, which is awesome. That is. I love it. Daffy is very jealous. Reaper Chainsword, this is probably the best weapon that he has here. He's going to hope for that close combat. That is Strength D, AP2, melee. His Ion Shield, let's talk about this for a second. In your shooting phase, meaning my enemy's shooting phase, at the beginning of it, I declare what facing the Ion Shield is, and that's the facing that I get a 4-up inbound save for. So, I, I got to make sure that's, uh, that's good. Truth be told, I don't have much shooting at you. You don't have much shooting? Okay, yeah. so it doesn't actually matter. Now, the Ion Shield does not benefit me in close combat. Special rules that I have are Fear, Hammer of Wrath, Invincible Behemoth, which means that I cannot, I cannot be exploded or immobilized or anything like that. The only possible thing that can happen to me is further hull points being yeah. lost. So if I have an explode result, it's D3. Yeah. Unless it's your last hull point. Unless it's the last, yeah, exactly. I have moved through cover, relentless, smash, and strike down. All right, on the other side, we got the Scythe Hero Duel. So this one, uh, he's got a weapon skill of four and a ballistic skill of three. He's got a weapon strength 10. It's no strength D, but you know, I'll take it. He's got a toughness of eight, six wounds, initiative three, seven attacks base, leadership 10, and a three up armor save. Now he is a gargantuan creature, so he is gonna get all the, all the benefits that is entitled to them, which includes Fear, Fearless, Feel No Pain, Hammer of Wrath, Move Through Cover, Relentless, Smash, Strike Down, and if he was flying, Vector Strike. Um, he is also unstoppable, which me uh, it's not going to matter much in this game, but it just means that any poison hits, sniper hits, or any remove from play or instant death things, just, they're, they're changed. So instant death remove from play would just do D3 wounds, and sniper and poison would only wound on a 6, as opposed to their normal. Um, and then on top of the special rules, it does have two sets of scything talons. So I've been told that this means he uh, that's an extra two attacks, not including the profile. So unless I'm wrong, uh, it sounds like he goes up to nine attacks as a result. Uh, he does have the bio acid spray, which is a hellstorm strength six AP three assault one, but your front armor on the knight just laughs that off. Uh, he is also agile. So that means he can fire a single weapon and then run, or fire no weapons and then run twice. So let's see what happens. Place your bets. Who do you think will win? Let's roll to see who's going to go first. Oh, let me mention that I am fighting Leland. Hi. Hi. <laughs> yes, I didn't mention that before. Leland is new to the team. When you're watching this video, this is a bunch of new bat reps that we are making at this time. So... Thank you for being part of the team, Leland. Thank you for having me on the team. You have an epic bald head and an epic beard. <laughs> well, the beard is to, to balance out the bald head. Yes. I, I stopped growing it up here and grew it down here. Dude, you kind of look like a space wolf. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who goes first? I get a one, you get a four. Oh, that doesn't bode well for me. I know, right? No, no. The history has taught me that that is a bad role for me. Yes. Yes. Well, it's up to you. You can choose. You know, you're going to go first this time. I get to shoot at you? I'm going to let you shoot at me. Okay. I, I will accept it. Yeah. Super heavy walker. I'm going to move through cover. Double the highest, 3d6. That's 12 inches. I'll move forward 12 inches to right there. I'm 12 inches away from you, and I'm going through terrain. I do have move through cover, so I ignore it. So I need to roll a 12 to get you in a close combat. But I'm going to shoot you first. No, no, I, I'm not going to forget it. Bring it on. Absolutely. Do you have any shooting attacks? Uh, I have one, but I have to be on your side or rear arc for it to really do anything. Okay, so it's like strength six? It's a strength six, yeah. Okay, so I won't even activate my ion shield. I think you have to. 
Okay, I'll, I'll do that yeah, right I now. Yeah, I think just front for the sake of the rules, you have to activate I'll, I'll do it right now, yeah. front armor. I'll, okay. pre I'll press the button. Okay. Rapid fire battle cannon is going to shoot at you. Do I get a direct hit? Yeah, yes. pretty much. Yes, I do. And we'll do the second one as well. That is also a direct hit. Right. Strength 8 versus toughness 8. I wound on 4s. That is one wound. Battle cannon AP3 negates your save, so we're going to feel no pain this roll, and that's a fail. I felt that. Down to five wounds. Thank you for letting me go first. I, I just gotta say, it's very thoughtful. I have a better chance at getting the charge off right now, and I think I need that. That's actually true, yes. Yeah. Maybe not so good for me. I'm gonna shoot my heavy stabber. Does nothing! It's too weak against your toughness eight. It's distracting and annoying, is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Like massage on your forehead? Oh, well, maybe. Yeah. Now it's time to assault you. If I roll, get two sixes, I make it. I don't. Your turn. Let's, uh, Here it is, down one wound. And you're move, moving. Move through difficult terrain. Same thing. So you go 12. You can go an inch away from me. So, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get out of your front arc. Uh, at least that's my impression of it. So my, uh, I'm just going to spit on you and make you dirty and gunky and whatnot, but I'm not going to hurt you. Dude, I got OCD. <laughs> I'm saying it like a discovery. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Huh. All right, so you're declaring an assault. I'm going to overwatch my stubborn. Does nothing. Go ahead. You get hey, six. look at that. I'm in. You definitely make it. There bom, we go. Ba -bom. Hey, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> whoa. Whoa. Tickle, tickle. So you need a three to glance. And that's nothing. Nothing. I have a higher initiative, and we both have the same weapon skill. So that means I attack you at uh, on force. And I got two hits, and here are the strength D. Inflictions. Oh, oh no! So we have. Oh, that that's not good for um, business. After looking through the rule book and not finding any scenario where he does not die, it looks like he's dead. Yeah, it looks like I'm dead. Yeah, because that's six plus d6 wounds with no saves of any kind allowed, even feel no pains, which is what you have. Uh, so he's dead. So why don't we do this though, just really quick for the viewers? Let's pretend that this is more statistical. And I got two of these instead of rolling a six. That means that's two D3. Okay. And so that's three more that are lost. But you get saves against them. Okay. Not your armor. You would get your feel no pains. Exactly. So let's see what happens. So, so I'd save one of them. And you're down to three wounds. Yeah. And then... So you get a lot of attacks here that you're hitting me with. And you're on fours. That's, that's a lot point. of hit. Strength ten, so three's the glance. That looks like a glance and two pens. So I'm automatically down to three hull points, but we'll see what these pens do. It is AP2, so you get a six there. That explodes. I, an AP2, oh uh, yeah. So one explodes and then one hull point. So let's see how many extra. <laughs> okay, so that's an additional. Uh, It'd be an additional uh, three, three hull points. Interesting scenario. Whoever gets the attack first wins, apparently. Vault members, click on the link below for our next matchup. These are Knob Bikers versus Thunderwolf Cavalry. If you're not a Vault member, we invite you to click on the link below and sign up for a free seven day trial to the Mini Wargaming Vault so that you can see this battle report as well as all of the other battle reports and narrative campaign bat reps and painting tutorials that you get when you are a Vault member. The Vault members help to support us and they enable us to make these videos. Without them, we wouldn't be possible, we wouldn't be alive as Mini Wargaming. So thank you very much, Vault members. Click on the link below and we'll see you in that bat room. Also as a bonus for Vault members, click on the second link below to see the post-game discussion on the Imperial Knight versus the Scythe Hero Duel. We'll see you in the video. Thanks for watching.